Good morning, Mama S here, and blog post number 35, IEP, and we're going to talk about when Precocious got an IEP. So this is actually a pretty long blog post that ends up being two and a half pages when printed out, uh, which is longer than a lot of them, but it's a pretty big process and a pretty big deal, so I'll try and explain that in the best way possible. So Precocious was having a hard time at school. Uh, she was getting into a lot of trouble and we ended up, she ended up having to go to a half day mental health program because things were not going well and she was becoming a danger to herself and others. And um, while all of this was going on, we were in the process of getting an IEP. Now we knew her history from her past school year. So before school started, we told her teacher like, listen, this girl needs an IEP, we need to do this. And her school was like, well, you know, she's never been here before, let's try a couple of different things. So we tried a check-in, check-out, which works for so many kids, and that is an amazing alternative to an IEP. And ultimately what that is, is the student has another teacher that they go to where they check in throughout the day on how they're doing, and then they check out at the end of the day. And there's a sheet that, you know, in each class that they have, they get rated a zero, a one, or a two, at least that's how it is in our school, um, for how they did, and then there can be comments. Uh, when they were telling me about this, I said, oh, this isn't going to be the right program for Precocious because she is very much a person where if she can have a good day, she'll have a great day. But if anything goes wrong at any point in the day, she tanks the rest of her day. At least she used to. Um, and they're like, nope, this is the first step. This is what we have to do. So they tried it. And in our case, that actually made things worse. Uh, she had more bad days, more extreme bad days. Um, more extreme behaviors and was doing a lot more running at school and I kept telling them guys this is not the right program for her we need to figure something else out and they're like well we just let's try it a different way and let's try it a different way and finally they said you're right this is not this is not working out um, so I again requested an IEP and I did so in writing and we got put on the calendar um, she had a series of evaluations and um, we had a big meeting. Now, one of the things a teacher friend of mine wants me to remind people is an IEP isn't for everybody and it doesn't fix the problem. So Precocious has behavioral issues because of her trauma and other things that are going on and we need to do things to help with that as well and an IEP is not a stopgap for for that um, but in our case she was severely failing in her classes and had a history of doing so for the three years prior to um, getting her IEP so we had tried a bunch of different things um, so the day of the evaluations came she had her evaluations she had interviews we did like a 300 questionnaire, 300 question questionnaire um, on all sorts of behaviors and then we were called in for a meeting. I have to tell you, we were nervous. Um, there are memes online about how terrible IEP meetings are and that you have to come loaded for bear and you know that it's just this big intense thing and we came prepared, we had a ton of information, I had suggestions for things that we could do and try to help her be more successful. And when we were doing the evaluation, uh, instead of talking about all of the deficits she had, I told them about all of the ways that we overcome them in our home and ways that I felt like she could do better in school you know, um, different things that they could do, like a fidget chair or putting a tape box around her desk that she could be up and standing and moving a little bit um, because she does have a lot of hyperactivity and sitting still is just not, it's a very challenging thing for her. And um, <clears throat> we talked about a large variety of things and the school was just beyond impressed with everything that we came with and our meeting went very very smoothly 
and actually our worker with our agency came and she told us that she had never been in a more successful IEP meeting. The school was very open to all of the suggestions that we had. Um, everyone was very complimentary and very excited for how things were going to go going forward. Um, I will tell you Precocious cried. Uh, she thought that she was going to get made fun of for having an IEP. Um, it was decided that an aide was going to come into the class for a couple of different times throughout the day to help through the especially challenging times. Um, and then she was also going into some special um, some special ed classes uh, to help out with some behavioral challenges and she was just really nervous and about two days after uh, her IEP kicked in and everything was going she came home with the biggest smile on her face and she's like having an IEP is great because they just help me do well and um, they just help me get through the hard times and then I can have a good day in school and so it's absolutely fantastic but again it's not a stopgap like you have to do work at home as a parent you have to you know continue to work with the teachers and you have to do things that are realistic like we couldn't expect them the school to change everything we just had to find ways to help her get through those particularly challenging points in her day so it was absolutely fantastic um, and again, remember that not every kid is qualifying for an IEP. Uh, ultimately, why they, um, like if you request it, they have to do it, but, or they have to do the evaluation. But ultimately what qualified Precocious for an IEP was medical diagnoses that we had leading up to it. Like a kid that just has behavioral issues won't necessarily get an IEP. They might get a 504 or accommodations in the classroom, but it's definitely something to research. There's a ton of information online and you really need to educate yourself as much as possible. So any questions you have, please let me know. Um, otherwise, reach out to your school's special ed department to see if an IEP might be right for your student or what other options there are available. Um, as always, please subscribe and please share. Thank you.